Welcome back to the channel. I'm Cody Burton, your source for all things Colorado real estate. And today we are here in Denver to check out this gorgeous mid-century modern inspired home behind me. It is absolutely incredible. I saw it pop up on the MLS and I knew we had to tour it. I'm a big fan of mid-century modern design and this one strikes a really nice balance between paying homage to that design principle while also keeping it very modern, very 21st century and giving you all of the modern conveniences you would expect. The builder did a really nice job. No expense was spared on this build. I think you're really gonna like it. So let's get inside and check it out. Before we jump inside, a special thank you to Ty Dockin with Compass, the listing agent on this property, for letting us get inside and check it out. So coming inside, we immediately have a home office right off the entryway, and you can see those architectural details really continue. We have this beautiful fireplace and these custom windows we saw outside. The builder really went to great lengths to make sure this home was cohesive inside and out. You have a custom built hearth here and the angled walls to match what we saw outside. It really gives a nice feel in here. You don't feel like you're in a builder home. This feels like it's something that's very custom and was done with a lot of intentionality behind it. So now making our way into the main space of the home, we have this absolutely gorgeous kitchen with a huge island with a waterfall edge. I love to see this, it's so popular right now. It gives the home a really high-end feel, but it's something you see a lot of builders skimp on. And especially with this, you have the waterfall on both sides. A lot of times you'll see the waterfall on the side kind of facing the living room. It gives it that nice touch, but saves some money over here where you're just walking through. Again, this just points out how a much attention to detail this builder has. You have the gorgeous waterfall and then the slats under the island, which give it a really nice mid-century modern tie, really kind of ties in this home. You also have beautiful custom cabinetry behind with really large sliding drawers, as well as some custom drawers that have a drawer inside for smaller things like utensils and all of that. I really like how they gave you some open shelving as well. It really ties in the wood accent back here with the wood slats on the island. Again, giving this home a really cohesive feel. So coming to the other end of this big open space, we have our main living area. It's really nicely sized, flooded with natural light all the way around. And I really like how the builder matched the inside and outside brick really tying this space together. It gives it a nice cohesiveness. I know I've said that there's a lot of intentionality in this home, but you really see it through every single room that we go into. I also love that they gave you these big sliders. So not only can you open it up, get some nice ventilation, but you can keep going and really blur those lines between inside and outside. This patio is far big enough to have a nice outdoor dining set, an outdoor living room space, and you can kind of blur those lines between the two without much thought, especially in the summertime. You know, it's June right now. We're starting to host outdoor events. This gives you a really nice flow between inside and outside. Before we move on with our tour, I want to take just a minute to point out all of these windows up top here. Not only does this bathe the space in natural light while also giving you a lot of privacy, it's also one of the most energy efficient ways to fill a home with natural light. This is a trick that Frank Lloyd Wright employed a lot uh, in his designs, and being that this is a mid-century modern style home, it's really nice to pay homage to Frank Lloyd Wright and include those in this design. I know it's just one of those little extra touches that we keep seeing through this house that sets it a step above, in my opinion. So moving back to the back portion of the home, we come to the master bedroom. This is a main floor master, which I know is something a lot of people really look for, especially up at this price point. I really like how they went with the floor to ceiling windows to bathe the space in natural light and a portion that opens so you can get some nice ventilation. 
They also have a door in here that goes out to the patio, so you can enter to your backyard directly from your master bedroom. Really nice touch. They could have put just another window there, but they went with the extra expense to put a door. That way you can move inside and outside just that much more easily. So finally coming into the master bathroom, you can see it's really well appointed. We have this Japanese soaker tub behind me, an absolutely huge shower, just like you'd expect at this price point. One thing I really like is that they continued the windows in here, just like every other room in this house, there's no absence of natural light. You have probably a seven or eight foot window above your vanity. And the really nice thing about that placement is not only do you have the room bathed in natural light, when you're getting ready in the morning, looking in the mirror, makeup or whatever, you're gonna have that natural light. So there's no discrepancy in colors or things like that. Another thing I really like about this home, in addition to all of the high-end features that you can see, are just all of the little details that you can't see. That's my mark of a really good builder, is when they're willing to put money into things that aren't immediately apparent to the eye. For example, this home has all spray foam insulation throughout, as well as insulation between the floors, which is something you don't see a lot unless it's like a custom build. Not only does this make the space more comfortable, it's more energy efficient, and it keeps it quieter. If you have people upstairs, you're not gonna hear them stomping around down here. Another example of that is the Wi-Fi repeaters that are through the house. This is a large house and the builder went with commercial grade Wi-Fi repeaters, so there won't be any issues with connectivity whatsoever. And speaking of connectivity, you also have CAT6 cable run throughout this house, which I know some people don't care, everything is wireless nowadays, but the really nice thing about having that CAT6 is if you do have a lot of smart TVs and other things streaming 4K and you know just really high bandwidth sort of applications, you won't have any sort of problems with connectivity or latency because you can take some of the pressure off of your Wi-Fi network by connecting to those CAT6 cables throughout the house. Again, like I said, some people don't care about that, but I think it's a really nice sign that the builder was paying attention and wasn't willing to skimp on those details that maybe people wouldn't notice right away. So I have a lot of confidence that this home was built the way it should be because those details are included. So coming down to the lower level, you can see we haven't given up any of that natural light we had upstairs. You have these huge egress windows that really fill the lower level space with a ton of light. And part of what helps with that is the nine foot ceilings here. Most of the time in a newer build, you're getting eight foot ceilings. An older home like mine, you have more seven foot ceilings being common. This is really nice to see. It really makes it more usable space. It feels like it's part of the home, another proper level not just an afterthought in a basement like you sometimes see. That's it for this week's property tour. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you are searching for your next dream home here in Colorado, my information will be on the screen at the end of this video as well as the description below. I would love to help you find your next dream home and make those dreams come true.